Good morning, it's Thursday, March the 25th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I've got two great press releases for you, one from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, and I've got two halts to report on in the second segment of our show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Grade Resources Corporation. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol GYD. The company is reporting results from their 2010 drilling in the recently discovered La India Zone. We've got some pretty good highlights coming out of the company. In hole number 115, they've reported that they've intersected 41 meters, grading 2.49 grams per ton of gold. And within that, we've got a more concentrated intercept of 23.5 meters, grading 4 grams per ton of gold. And uh, just as importantly, it's all starting at surface, so great numbers coming out of grade this morning. Uh, in addition, I've got a quote from Mark Prefontaine, who's the president and CEO of grade, who states, this drill hole is significant because it has defined the potential higher grade feeder and indicates expansion of the zone. A little bit about grade, they're a growth oriented junior natural resource company focused primarily on exploring and developing a large land position in Mexico with its highly perspective, uh, with its high, which is highly perspective for gold mineralization. Companies last at 81 cents, high of a dollar, low of two cents, mark cap of approximately 52 million dollars. Now moving on to our next company out of the US, uh, China Automotive Systems. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol CAAS. They're a power steering components and system supplier in China. You know how much we love those Chinese companies. They're providing financials for the year ended December 31st, 2009. We've got some fiscal year 2009 highlights, which include net sales rose by 57% year over year, and this is a record of $255 million for the company. Net income grew by 88% year over year to $23.5 million. Net cash flow from operations was $35 million and free cash flow was $17.5 million for 2009. Uh, in addition, the company is providing outlook. They anticipate revenue growth to be approximately 20% for the year 2010. And the company is last at 23.52, high of 27.17, low of $3.22. They've got a market cap of approximately $634 million. Now, moving on to the halts, I've got two for you. Western Areas trades on the TSX, that's the big board on the symbol WSA. They're halted pending news. And Zapata Energy Corp, they trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol ZCO. They're halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts in the AM for you.